What's up, ABI family? Taylor with ABI Sports Surf here. We're going to show you today how to install the aerator onto the ABI 4Z23. I'm gonna go ahead and run through uh, all of the products that come within the crate. So once you uncrate, you will find the plug aerator itself or the slit aerator. We've got the hitch pin, the sleeve and chain assembly with the nuts and bolts already attached to it. We've got the snap hook, the linch pin, and an extra chain link. We've got the center turn knuckle, and then an array of six 50 pound suitcase weights. So right off the start here, we're going to remove one of the nut and bolt assemblies off of the chain sleeve. We're going to replace that with the snap clip on the end of it. That other nut and bolt assembly will be used to install the singular link onto the ABI force unit. Once we've uh, installed the clip and put the nut and bolt assembly onto that extra chain link, we're going to install it to the machine. This is a one-time installation. After that, you can just leave it there. For today's video production, we've actually already installed the components onto the chassis. You will notice underneath the, be underneath the belly of the chassis, there are two pre-drilled holes in the framework. What we're going to do is we're going to install the chain link and the chain sleeve onto the chassis permanently. These will not leave, it's a one-time installation. On the upper and left-hand side, you're going to install the single chain link with the bolt and the washer on the outer side, crimping that onto the chassis. On the lower and righter portion, when you're standing on the platform, the right side, you're going to install the chain and the sleeve assembly. Again, making sure the washer is crimping that chain up against the chassis. Once installed, you will notice that this sleeve chain assembly will then connect with that snap hook onto that chain link and will forever be installed on your unit. Now we're going to go ahead and remove our underbelly weldment to be able to install the underbelly aerator. First things first, we've got the unit on. We're going to drop this rake weldment down to the ground to be able to release the pressure off the springs, remove the pins, and then start removing your spring arms. We recommend having something in your, in your pockets, either scarifiers, we've got the stealth blades in today to help kind of act like a kickstand and hold it up. So I've already got the unit idling. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this rake down just so it's touching the ground. Go ahead and shut that off. And then we'll remove the springs starting from the bottom. So I've gotta pull a snap ring on this far side. Keep all of your hardware. Inside there, there are two washers. Make sure you don't lose those. So you can see I've got just enough to be able to pull that out. And I've got my first washer and my second washer. And let's go ahead and put that right back on the bolt just so we don't lose anything. After that one is uninstalled, we're gonna jump up to the top here and remove the top snap hook and remove that whole spring arm leaving your pin there. So we'll set those aside. I'll go ahead and knock out the other side real quick as well. Now we're gonna to move to the middle of the system. I'm gonna go ahead and actually power this back on. And we're going to lower the weldment until the middle chain is loose to be able to remove this pin from the rocker arm. Now you can see I've got the chain here is loose, so I'm gonna first remove the snap hook, set that down here. Now remember there is hardware, there's actually spacers in this middle as well, so watch when you remove the pin, that hardware will fall out. Chain is now off. There goes the spacer, here's, here's what came out of there. Two spacers and a washer. Now don't lose this pin because we are going to use this later on. So I'm gonna put the snap hook back in there. The next step is going to be remove the pin from the cylinder, releasing the weldment completely. So what we're gonna do is we wanna make sure that the cylinder does not have any tension on it, so you should be able to move this a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the linchpin out and completely remove that 
from the weld mitt. Once you've removed the pin from the cylinder, you can then raise it up and we're gonna actually hold this out of play. We're gonna harness it out of play. Notice here that this uh, threading here is actually touching that framework. So go ahead and rotate that a bit to the side and then use your chain and snap hook, hold that up out of play. And you can see that'll rest there completely on its own. So now that we've got that cylinder held up out of place by the chain and the sleeve, I'm gonna power this back on and run that cylinder all the way in, retract it all. So next, what we're gonna do is to completely remove this weld mitt from the chassis, I'm going to remove these linch pins, slide that little stopper out and flip it up out of play. I will reinstall that after I remove the weldment. So I'm just gonna leave the snap ring up top. I'm gonna do so on both sides. Once you remove your locks, we're going to go ahead and simply lift this off of the chassis itself. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead, once I've removed that weldment completely, you can see there's nothing, nothing uh, holding it onto the unit. I'm gonna go reinstall my locks here, slide that out through the hole, put your winch pins back on. Same thing with the other side. We're gonna go ahead and swing off the underbelly weldment here. Remove the parking brake. What we've gone ahead and done is we've thrown just two two by four blocks underneath the front of this frame just to get this up off the ground, makes it easier to connect. What I'm gonna do now is swing over the aerator itself. The goal here being to get this front bolt lined up with this trunnion here on the front of the aerator. So I'll go ahead and do that now. We're not gonna grab your linchpin and we're going to lift the ball joint up into place. If you look on the bottom of this bolt here, there's actually a pin that that trunnion will slide right over. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift that up into play. Different ways to do it, either a pallet jack's a good idea, something to be able to get some leverage. I'm gonna go ahead and just try to lift it up. The aerator does move a little bit, so it shouldn't be too bad. I recommend doing this in some flat ground. There we go. Up through, and then pin the lynch through that. All right. I was able to get it connected by hand by just lifting on that front end. Uh, a floor jack might be a good idea too if you need some help to get that front end lifted up to be able to connect it. So from here, we're going to go ahead and connect our spring arms that are mounted directly on it. And then those pins, you're gonna pin that through. Flip to the other side here as well. Connect the spring arm and through. So now that we've got the springs connected, the chain of springs connected to the uh, pins there, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and actually square it up to the unit by just lifting it up. Swing towards the middle there. All right. I'm gonna leave that just above here to give myself a little bit of clearance because now we're going to insert the knuckle into the aerator as well as the chassis. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the top portion first. And the way to do that is to come up underneath using that smaller pin, the small gold pin that you removed earlier and pin it through. And then use your lynch pin to lock it. So as you can see now, we're gonna go to the lower pin, the, the hitch pin. I'm gonna go ahead, you're gonna have to see, you're gonna see I'm gonna have to extend that turn knuckle out or drop that center hydraulic to get those holes to line up so I can pin that through there. So I'm gonna go ahead and power up the machine. I'm gonna lower it down a little bit and try to get that hitch pin through. Now that we've got the aerator attached, we're going to go ahead and throw an, uh, the uh, series of basket of uh, suitcase weights onto the top of the aerator. There is, these are 50 pound pieces, so there's six of them total. So we're talking 300 pounds of additional weight that goes on top of the aerator. 
So use your legs when lifting. Slide them in. And then hop to the other side. So now that we've got the weights installed on top of the aerator, I'm just gonna go, go ahead and show you that when you drop this aerator, it will lift the front end up off the ground. So I'll power up here. Force it all the way down and lift you up in the air. That concludes the aerator installation. Thank you for watching. My name is Taylor Cole Quillard. If you have any other questions, please call our customer support team.